In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Welcome to worship at Knut Nelson on this Sunday after Ascension Day. I'm Pastor Michael Peterson, chaplain, and I invite you to sing with me. Open my eyes that I may see glimpses of truth thou hast for me. Place in my hands the wonderful key that shall unclasp and set me free. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, thy will to see. Open my eyes, illumine me, Spirit divine. Open my ears that I may hear, Voices of truth thou sentest clear. And while the waves fall on my ear, Everything false will disappear. Silently now I wait for thee. Ready, my God, my will to see. Open my ears, illumine me, Spirit divine. Open my mouth and let me hear. Let thee the warm truth everywhere. Open my heart and let me prepare Love with thy children thus to share Silently now I wait for thee Ready, my God, thy will to see Open my heart and move in me Spirit divine Together we confess our sins. Loving God, your word tells us that if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. But if we confess our sins, you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. For the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. God's word tells us that as far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgressions from us. Grant this, Lord, unto us all. Amen. In the gospel lesson of Luke chapter 24, verses 44 through 53, it tells us that when the risen Lord Jesus Christ came to visit and eat with his disciples, he said to them, reading in Jesus' name, This is what I told you when I was still with you. Everything must be fulfilled that is written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms. Then he opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. He told them, This is what is written. The Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day and repentance for the forgiveness of sins will be preached in his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. I am going to send you what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. When he had led them out to the vicinity of Bethany, he lifted up his hands and blessed them. While he was blessing them, he left them and was taken up into heaven. Then they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they stayed continually at the temple, praising God. Jesus opened their minds so that they could understand the scriptures. How did he do this? Did he simply perform a miracle of the Holy Spirit that opened their minds? Or did he do it by teaching them what the scriptures meant? I think he did a combination of the two. I think he pointed out different verses in the Hebrew scriptures. That's what we call the Old Testament, the part of the Bible written before Jesus came. 
I think he took time to explain how he fulfilled verses of Old Testament prophecy in his birth, life, and ministry, and his death and resurrection from the dead. He also appeared to them in person so that they could see that he was alive. I like it when people take the time to show me things that I need to know. And if I need somebody to explain something that I'm having a hard time understanding, I like it when they're patient with me and take time to explain it and maybe even rephrase it in a way that helps me understand better. In college, I studied the ancient Greek language, and I think my professor had a great philosophy of teaching. He said he considered it his job to say everything at least 10 times. And if people don't get it by then, he will say it an 11th time. What are some of the ways that God speaks to us today to help us to understand and follow his word? Besides speaking to us in the Bible, I believe he teaches us through life lessons to understand what the word means for us. There's something we can learn through every experience we have. Our world has changed in the last couple of months because of the COVID-19 crisis. Some people who felt like their lives were secure have learned what it's like to be uncertain, what it's like not to know if they are safe or if their bills will be paid or what the future holds. But many other people have never had that kind of security or safety. Some people who are poor or part of minority groups or suffering from chronic health problems have never known what it's like to feel safe and secure. When we go through upheaval in our own lives, let's make it an opportunity to have our eyes opened to someone else's world. And let us also have open eyes to the way God provides for his people so that we can have peace of mind resting in what he gives to us. He doesn't save us from experiencing hardship but he does carry us through. Let our eyes be open to the fact that we are sinners in need of his forgiveness, but that Jesus is the friend of sinners inviting us to call upon him in faith and to forgive others as we have been forgiven doing small things with great love in order to serve as his disciples. Let us pray. Gracious God, today we still live between the day of the ascension of Jesus into heaven and the day of his return. Lead us to walk in your light, answering your call to be your witnesses, and giving you glory by doing small things with great love for our neighbors in need. Bless those who are ill, suffering, grieving, lonely, or being treated with injustice. Give wisdom to government leaders and strength to those fighting the COVID-19 pandemic and every type of illness. We remember and honor all who have given their lives to win and preserve freedom. We pray this through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And may God enrich our lives with every gift of the Spirit that we may live in Christ and bear his peace to the world. Amen. As we observe Memorial Day, let us pray for our country, singing, God bless America. God bless America, land that I love, stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above, through the mountains and the prairies, to the oceans, Fight with all. God bless America, my home, sweet home. God bless America, my home, sweet home.
Thank you.